Hi, this is Ray at My Service Depot. In this clip, I'd like to take a look at how to start a mail merge from your smart service marketing campaigns. Our very first step is to open up our marketing. Here we'll choose the campaign that we're going to use to launch our mail merge. In this example, we'll use Reminder Letter A. We can click on Edit or we can double click on the title of our marketing campaign. Inside of the Data for Campaign tab, we're going to use filters to narrow the list of these records to our desired recipients. In an unfiltered list, this will show you each of your smart service customers, their jobs, your smart service prospects, and prospect jobs. There are a few ways we can apply filters to this list. The first way, if we scroll a little bit to our right here, is by highlighting information we see that matches our desired criteria, for example, job, right-clicking and choosing filter by selection. We've now excluded everything that is not a job record from this data for campaign tab. In a similar way, you can hit the drop-down at the top of your column and select text filter equals, and we would like for these jobs to be active, so we will type in active is equal to yes, then choose OK. Scrolling a little bit farther to our right, there are also date fields that we can use. As we scroll to our scheduled date, if we hit the drop down here, you can see date filters and we can set a date filter equal to next week. The responses then match all of these criteria of customer or job, they're equal to job, we can see previewed down here at the bottom, active equals yes, and the scheduled date is equal to next week. This filter is saved in your Data for Campaign tab, so as we would open this marketing campaign up and return to this Data for Campaign tab, we may see different information based off of the filter that we have saved. Your Data for Campaign tab can be filtered based off of service or billing information about your customer, about customer type, about job type, or by scheduled dates or recurrence. Our next step is to use this information to launch a mail merge. We can do that from the very next tab labeled Correspondence. When you open up your Correspondence tab, we'll be clicking on Create a Mail Merge. From this step, we can use either an existing Word document or we can begin a new template by pasting in the text that we would like to use. When I select Create a Mail Merge, I can browse to my desktop and select my letter text that I have saved in just a normal Word document. And you'll see that open up in Document 1. This is the text that I had saved in my Word document and I'm going to create a mail merge template by adding in merge fields, information that's coming to the mail merge from my smart service database. To insert a mail merge field under the mailings tab, which has opened up automatically for us here, we'll choose insert mail field, merge field. In this list, you can see all of the fields which can be inserted from your smart service database, which include your customers and prospects billing and service addresses, their contact information, as well as information about the job. Uh, if you look a bit lower there, job description, job type, your job instructions, the scheduled employee date, start and end time, as well as recurring descriptions. To add that into your text, you will want to select the area in your letter, choose Insert Merge Field, and here I'm going to add the job type. Then we will add the name of our scheduled employee, scrolling down the list, also our scheduled date, and we'll give a service window with the start and end time scheduled start time and scheduled end time. Now, in order to see the results, you can click on preview results here at the top of the screen. 
and you can scroll through the records. Oh, I may want to uh, add a space there. You can scroll through the various records here and see the information being added in from the eight records that we had as a result of our filters. When you are ready to print copies of your letter, choose Finish and Merge, and you can then choose to edit individual documents, print your documents, or if you have Microsoft Office Outlook available and you do have email addresses for your recipients, you can choose Send Email Messages, and that does again depend on using Microsoft Office Outlook as your email client. Now this is a very simple letter. If you have a more complex document or you would like to save this for repeated use, your first step is to choose your file menu and choose Save As. We should save this as a Word template and we would want to choose a location where we would be able to locate this message again. Choose an appropriate name and save. If you would like to update recipients of the mail merge in Smart Service, you can use the shortcut here on the Correspondence tab to update the customer that correspondence was sent. When you choose this entry, it will add a record in that Correspondence tab, uh, in this case this would be in the Correspondence tab of these jobs, that a marketing letter or postcard was sent. When you choose Yes, those eight marketing entries have been added, again because in our Data for Campaign tab we had eight results. To use your template you would choose Create a Mail Merge and we can browse to the location where we saved our template. That would be this shortcut here, Reminder Letter A, choose Open, and that has saved our Mail Merge fields. For more tips and tricks, read our blog at www.smartservice.com or follow us on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter.